So I wanted to show you a quick overview of my new interactive picture book called The Monarch Butterfly. Um, I've used a lot of JavaScript and uh, CSS effects in this book, um, and I wanted to give you a little taste of it. Um, so let's start on this page just to show you how the book works. Um, each page is a full photograph, a full size, full screen photograph of some part of the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. This is a um, tiny little caterpillar. It's very, very small. Um, and I wanted to be able to show the photographs without any distracting captions um, on top of them. And so I could use CSS to make those captions appear. The problem is um, that you couldn't tell where the captions would be. There wasn't any way to know that there was more information. So I used these little arrows in the bottom left-hand corner. Each page has a information arrow with a little question mark. And when you click it, which I'm going to do now, additional arrows appear that um, indicate where the person can find additional information. And when they click on those other arrows, CSS makes the captions appear. You'll notice that if I click on some place that there is no caption, then I'm activating the menu across the bottom and the title bar. But if I click on the captions, they disappear or they reappear. So that's one piece. Um, I also want to show you this page. Uh, not that one. This one. This one I'm particularly proud of. There's a series of images across the bottom, as you see. And when you click on them, the display changes so that the image is um, shown at full size in the middle of the page. And if you use them one after another, you can see the little caterpillar um, come out of its egg and eat its eggshell. And then if you click on the main picture, all of them, it, the, the scene goes backwards, basically. And that, again, is all created with CSS. And I used a little bit of JavaScript just to listen for the, for the touch. Um, I want to show you um, a place where I used some video. I believe it's here. This is when the caterpillar triumphantly comes out of its chrysalis. Um, and I wanted to point out the importance of using vertical video where it's appropriate. Um, this is, if, if I tried to do this with horizontal video, I would have a lot of extra unused space to the left and the right. Um, so using vertical video is a way to focus the um, attention on what's going on. And then finally, I want to show you this page. Not that one, which is lovely, and not that one either, excuse me, this one. So here I have a lot of information that I'm trying to get across. Too much, I thought, to, um, to, to be housed only in captions. And because behind each of these boxes, there's a map. And so what I did was, when you touch the caption, the map appears, and then you can focus on just that map. And then if you touch it again, the caption comes back. And then if you touch the next one, that map appears so that it illustrates what the caption um, explains. So there's a lot more in the book. Um, I think you'll find it really exciting. You can find it on the iBookstore. And um, I will be in the next several weeks um, finishing writing the mini guide that explains how to um, create all of these effects and, and others as well. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening.